one of the things I love most about this uh, resort is that the rooms are African names. They eat cat. Wow. Please don't go out. There are people who will look for you and catch you and eat you, okay? So the reason we actually came is because Maya was in Richard Land. I want I want you to come and do a farm. Aww. So you come and stay here, right? Oh. <laughs> Hello, good morning. How are you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How are you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How are you? Mm -hmm. That's the TV. And you have this company. There's Oat and Tom Brown. Oat and what? Oat and Tom Brown. Oh, Tom Brown and Oat. What is Tom Brown? Can I have a piece of Tom Brown? Piece of bread. Like it. What is Tom Brown? It's roasted corn, granules. Soya beans, like ah. rice, oats. So it's, it's a kind of porridge, Ghana yes. porridge. Yes. Okay. I want to try. Should I try Tom Brown or oats? Yeah, I think you like it. Tom Brown. Yeah. Okay. Since we're in Ghana, let's do what people do. When you're in Rome, we do as the Romans do. So I'll take that Tom Brown and try it. Mm. Then everything is Africanized. Now. I know, right? This is the thing about this resort. So beautiful. The chairs, the art on the wall, everything yeah. makes you proud to be African. Even telling you if you need taxi services, the number to call. Okay, so efficient. Oh, that looks good. The presentation. Oh, mm. so one person, eh? Yes. Thank God. <laughs> well, Love. Thank God is for one person. Presentation looks really good. Guys, so my food is finally here. Some sausage, vegetables, and bread. Do you know that I don't eat bread, guys? Okay, I take it once in a while when I have to, but every day taking tea and bread, no. So what I usually tell Maya is that long ago I used to be very heavy. I'm gonna I'm gonna look, see if I can get the photos and place them here. And then um I was advised to stop eating fries and I stopped, but nothing changed. And I was so devastated, but eventually I cut off wheat, which is things like bread, chapati, mandazis, and guess what? I lost weight and I also stopped feeling so bloated. I used to eat and feel so bloated, like, ugh. And I have to sleep all the time, but I changed everything. I changed everything after that, so it works for me and I've stuck with it. So I don't take bread really, unless I have to. Sometimes I miss bread. When it's very soft, I get tempted. <laughs> Other than that, not a fan of bread, so yeah, mm. really you nice. Know, when I was growing up, the doctor um, told me that if I eat egg, I go fat. So I stopped eating egg. I stopped eating egg, and then I slept and I dreamt that one of my ancestors came to me and said, "Maya, you need eggs in your life." That's how I, I couldn't listen to the doctor, but rather. Ancestors. What a lie. That's a lie. <laughs> it's always good to listen to your ancestors more than the doctors. <laughs> oh my god. And since then, That's a lie. I've never stopped eating eggs. So it's and because your ancestors say that? Yeah, the doctor said I shouldn't eat eggs, and that my ancestors were like, why would you stay away from eggs? That's a lie, babe. Anyway, our Tom Brown is here. Looks so good. It looks really tasty, smells really good. The aroma is um so let's try it, let's try it, let's try it. Guys, so we met her yesterday at the farm. She's South African. Oh say hi, say hi to your South African people. Hello, I'm a Saudi. How do you tell? Hey. 
Sharp, sharp. Yeah, yeah, sharp, 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 sharp. Yeah, yeah. Sia bonga. Yeah, yeah. Sia bonga, Jesus. Hey girl. Nice to see you. Can you South Africa? Yeah, in Ghana. Tell me about it. Hi. Are you guys alright? Yeah, we're good. That's great. So let me tell you, one of the things I love most about this uh, resort is that the rooms are African names and named after African countries. Um, look at this for example. This is Togo. And this one here is Ghana. This is so cool. We have Ivory Coast. We have Benin. This, I've never seen this before. Wow. We have Nigeria. My Ogas are also represented. And Liberia. How cool is this? This concept is amazing. The person who owns this hotel must be very proud to be African. Because I've never seen anything like this before. Oof. And we are in the room. Look at this. This is so beautiful, you guys. I love the presentation. This is so good. Ah, I love the art on the wall. Let me tell you, I've never gone to a hotel that makes me feel proud to be African, as this one has. So you got your bathroom over there. Very clean and neat. Um, Corridors. Or do you call them the verandas? Wow, you guys. Oh my goodness. What? The view. I feel like we're on top of a hill and you get to see the rest of um, the Volta region from up here. And the view is fantastic. Yeah. Look at that view. Look at that view. Tell me it's not beautiful. And at night, it's all lit up. So it's just something else. I'm telling you, it's incredible. And you've got the swimming pool right over there. The tanks, you store water. You store water. So there's never a water shortage here. No, there's not. Always water. That's what I like to hear. When you go to a resort or a hotel, you want plenty of water. I've had instances of where people go, you know, to resorts and then there's no water, which makes it really sad and awkward. Um, yeah, but here there's plenty of water, guys. But the green, I can't get enough of the green. <laughs> guys, we're about to head out. I just wanted to show you the car that you've been cruising in. You guys know the reel that says, I can say this fearlessly. We've been cruising in style. Thanks to silver star auto they gave us a car to you know move around ghana wherever we want to go it's actually a car that's given to gun to maya but you know maya doesn't drive so yeah you see that guy over there he's the one who drives us he's called the glow the groove hub guy so thank you so much to silver star auto quality service is their passion and they deliver so yeah this is what we're cruising in so let's go in so comfortable. <laughs> Bulgarians and Kenyans. Bulgarians, they eat cat. Wow. So you've eaten cat before? Yes. You didn't feel guilty? No. <laughs> because oh. cat eh, is, you see, is one of the wisest animals that God has created. So mm -hmm. those who eat cat, they are deemed to be very intelligent. <laughs> there are a few fools to <laughs> The majority of them, because of the cat, yeah, you see. So if you want to eat a cat, you know, you don't just slaughter it like a farm. Mm. There are several ways. The cat might not see you before it dies. Really? Because if it sees you mm -hmm. and it closes its eyes on you, it will come they and believe you. that you, you will also die. Ah. So when you want to eat, a, you want to kill a cat, mm -hmm. there are several ways. You put it in a sack, drown it. Or we'll put it in a sack, hit it with this thing. The cat must not see you before it dies. Otherwise, oh. the seventh day, you also die. Huh. And when you prepare the cat and you want to eat it, you, the person who will eat the head must pay a price. What price must they pay? One bottle of gin. Mm -hmm. That is what you give. And you eat it alone. You eat the head. You don't share it with anybody. Why? 
No, no reference that I have. Knowledge is it, like you are buying the knowledge at a price. Mm. It's indivisible. You take it wholly. Mm. So that when you start talking as a knowledgeable person, you are fully recognized as somebody here who has possession of that knowledge. You so where do you get it? You rear it yourself or you buy from neighbors. But are you not going to fall in love with a cat if you rear it yourself? Then it should be hard to kill it. That you cannot eat your own cat. For example, I have a cat in the house. Now. It's like one of the members of the family. I cannot kill it. I cannot eat it. Wow. Yeah. You have to eat a cat that you That know. is somebody's cat. But the cat that is your own cat is like your child. What if somebody come and take your own cat? Then let's go, you assume that your child is dead. You pay a Wow. Guys, there you go. Now you've understood from someone who is in the Volta region how they eat cats and why they eat cats. Are you satisfied? What do you think about what they said? Have you tasted cat before? I think so. I think I've tasted cats before. You know, my senior brother loves cats and dogs. My, my dogs big too? brother, yeah. Wow. My big brother loves that. Cats. I've never eaten cat, neither this have I eaten like dog, but, and I will never eat them. I don't like the way they kill it. I, I just love to see people eating. Okay, I wouldn't love to see. It's just weird. A weird culture. Yeah. I, I, we're trying to look for somewhere where we can find people selling cat meat, but then um, it's proving yeah, to be when, when you go to Qatar or something. Hopefully, hopefully we'll see that. Have you heard of this before? I haven't. You cannot go to any restaurant and say you want cat and you get but you can go to a restaurant and ask them to prepare cat for you. For you. And you'll get in the neighborhood. Oh. But how will I sleep at night as I eat a cat? You know, I'm going to feel so bad. Oh my goodness. Take, take, people take snake. People take dogs. Snake is an evil animal. It deserves to be eaten. It's, it's dogs and cats, not really. Please don't go out. There are people who will look for you and cut you and eat you, okay? I mean, the Volta region is not safe. Okay, cut. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Don't go out. You're not safe. Okay. I warned you. Guys, so we just got to his house and they're spoiling us. They gave us like sea chicken, malt. Mm. Thank you so much for the VIP treatment. Thank you for the baby treatments. Oh, you are welcome. Oh, so much in garden. <laughs> mm, luckily, Maya is there filming, so we have all this to ourselves. Hopefully, we finish before they get back. <laughs> So the reason we actually came is because Maya was looted land and he's coming to see his land for the first time. How many acres were you given? Five acres of land. It's crazy. It's crazy. It never happens. Four times five. Four times five. Wow. What are you going to do with the 20 plots? He said you should plant mangoes since you love mangoes. I love mangoes but I, I love just mango one 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 one. Mm -hmm. like, <laughs> what are you even saying? You like one, 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 one. You don't understand. <laughs> like, okay. Are you want to come and do real estate I here? <laughs> no, we do farm here, babe. I want, I want you to come and do a farm. Aww. So you come and stay here, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> come on, we grow what you eat, babe. Okay, that's, that's a good idea. Yeah, so we'll we build, leave a crown, uh, come here. Yeah, we'll build a house in the forest. Wow. Oh, like the guy. Yeah. The so we live off-grid in Ghana. 
it's not off grid. It's like you come to the farm, you sleep there, then you go back home. That's a good one because you're in the middle of the farm. It's so, it's so beautiful. So the man who gave my land is a man right there, and he owns over eighty acres of land. He gave my five. Oh my god! And this is his other son. Your dad did something I've never seen before. What did he do? Giving Maya that whole chunk of land. Who does that? <laughs> My dad. Wow, that's unbelievable. Yeah, have the best dad. God yeah. bless you and your family. Yeah, no, I mean, we have land in both regions. When does he tell you part of Ghana is from say water region? <laughs> uh, God bless you and your family. God bless you too. And God bless our humble followers. Hello! And people say go hi. and subscribe to his channel as well. Yes, so subscribe to GoofHub. All the Votarians. Check out Google, very sweet and nice gospel music. Only by all the bottles. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we are finally at the farm. We have some groundnuts. You got some maize and mangoes. Look at this. So many mango trees. Do you know what this is? You know what is it? Come on. You don't know what this is? No. What is it? It's yam. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. You know, the chiba has to go inside. Mm -hmm. So when you pull it up, mm -hmm. it comes big. Oh, wow. So that's how they plant it up. I didn't know. What about this? You know this? Maze, come on. Oh, wow. <laughs> and what is that? Mango. Wow. And what is this? My baby. Oh. <laughs> I wanted to do a um, coconut. No. Is it is it is it? Oh, you can't do it. Is it is it that one? Yeah. If you are taking care of it, that's how all of them would have been. Up. You have to buy the incentive. Mm. Those that we have put incentive inside, all the fruits are inter intact. One is one city, and you can get up to about thousand fruits one. in one tree. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so you have about uh, 2,000 trees. Can you imagine that? That's two, two million. Wow, learning how to be a millionaire. Yeah. Guys, he's taking the, the, the car to the kitchen. Oh, God. Guys, good morning. Ahead of us, we have the sunrise, and uh, we are now in Qatar. It's called Qatar, yeah? Yeah, Qatar. 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 Yeah. This is a city on the sand. That's the meaning of the name. And uh, straight ahead, we have the what? 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 Water body is ahead of us. The Atlantic Ocean. Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, I feel like the water region got the best beach in Ghana so far. The beaches that I've seen, they got the best beaches. That's why I really want you to have an experience. I mean, the best clean mm -hmm. beaches that you hardly see anything. I don't know for now, but what I've experienced before, I think they got the cleanest beach the entire of Ghana. Oh wow. Yeah. So Ma has been telling me I need to see this beach and we're here. So um we slept in a hotel over there, not so far from here. A Kamini walk. It's the hotel. It's, it's still the same one? It's, it's huge. huge. So we could have even passed through the hotel. Wow. Okay. okay So now we are going to wow it looks so beautiful oh my god are those fishermen yeah. oh wow and the traditional way of fishing mm -hmm. holding out the net from the sea mm -hmm. so when it comes it's 50 50 whether they're gonna have fishes or not uh -huh. you know, so this is the hotel in the back so beautiful and then come out but can't wait to be long because it's too early wow yeah. oh wow so what are these Planted here in the sand. Oh, okay. Yeah, Kenya is not like 
Ghana. You have to go to Mombasa to know these things. Say so Nairobi is not like Kenya because Mombasa, yeah, we don't have a notion. Mombasa is also like. Uh, but I, I don't know why you guys have to grow coconut only at the ocean. Because we grow coconuts everywhere in Ghana. Even Nairobi? You yeah. want us to grow coconuts? Even, even the land. But you again. have ocean everywhere in no, Ghana, though. No, no. You have ocean everywhere. No. But you Akra, know what? Chakra Day, water region. The man was suggesting that the land that he's giving me, I can either plant mangoes or coconut. I was shocked. See? Me, when I think of coconut, I think of water bodies uh, no, no, next no. to the water. See that view? Now we are coming close. They are fishermen, fishing, sunset, but it's actually sunrise, it's early morning, six something, um, yeah, wow, see how clean the beach is, oh my god, wow. Wow, you guys. Wow, thank you for bringing me. This is surely one of the most beautiful and cleanest beaches I've seen in Ghana. Yes, so clean. Look at the ground. See the view. Oh, really? You have a beautiful country. Blessed. Ghana is beautiful. Yep. Yeah. The only thing we remember is God bless us with good leaders because we don't have one. Look at the sign we just came across. Yeah, this is so time. funny. So, this is like, don't pull in here. If you, if you pull, pull in here, we're gonna catch your balls. Man. What? You know, I hadn't ah! even. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, get out. You know, I hadn't even seen this. So, this sign down here, I just saw the, <laughs> I just saw this pooping sign until Maya explained this. This is the funniest thing I've ever seen. Oh my god. What? Is that even legal? Are they allowed to do that? Oh, if you pee, we do the same thing. Well, no, this one you should have. Use the, you cut your dick. Ah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> See, same thing. Why do they have to be so strict? Let them just say, don't pee here. Why do they have to go to the extreme? So funny. Jeez. Guys, look at this. I think it's a fruit. They're telling me it's called noni, and it's one of the most powerful. Powerful what? One of the most powerful fruits. So it has very good antibiotic and anti-inflammation properties when you squeeze it into water mm -hmm. and then you drink the water. It works very well for inflammation, infection, this thing, how is it called, ulcer, there's another this thing. Have you taken it before? Allergy. No, no, yeah, you squeeze the juice, the juice, it's almost getting commercialized right now. Oh, and really? Another one. When you plant the water, it's out there. This one, you know, aloe vera. Ah, aloe vera, you know, aloe vera. Just that one, I've never take seen. The juice. It. Yes, well, and then this one also has some very good health properties. This one is not yet matured. When it grows, it becomes very good. This one. So this, I've been looking for. I don't. I hope Togo will not be angry with me. But I pick one. That one also has some very good health properties. You cut it, you can actually chew it. And some oh, people wow. can actually talk to it. When you do it, it prevents bad energy. Oh, really? Sort of. Yeah, so it may be somebody. Yeah, the Voltarians are so cultural. They believe in so many things. So many things that no, but it's real like some of the culture. So you see, like, they're on camera, like, I'll tell you the ones I have. 